The People's Democratic Party, PDP, presidential candidate for the 2023 election, Atiku Abubakar, has said, Nigerians' inability to establish a regime of law and order in which the arrests and punishments of criminals will be made a priority will continue to worsen the country's insecurity with criminals becoming more dairy. Atiku stated this on Wednesday while reacting to Tuesday night terrorist attack by individuals believed to be Boko Haram insurgents on Kujay prison in Abuja, freeing over 600 prisoners. Denouncing the attack, Atiku also, a former vice president, expressed concern that the tough criminals who escaped the facility may cause more security issues in the federal capital territory, Abuja. The PDP presidential candidate tweeted, I am concerned and saddened by reports of the attack on Kujay prison by suspected terrorists. My concern arises not only from the prospect of the escape of detained terrorists and hardened criminals, but of its implication for the security of lives and property to residents of Abuja and its environs. I wish to restate that I said on Monday that our inability to ensure a regime of law and order in which the arrests and prosecution of criminals will be made a priority as a deterrent to copycat is the reason why insecurity continues to foster in our country. Okay, guys, Nigerians have reacted. Not again, Atiku. So sorry. Nothing for you this time around. I believe that you, Atiku, can do more than Buhari. Has Buhari? They cry in 2013. Let me rule. Let me rule. To contaminate Nigeria. So what I realize is that if you can be the president, I know you will send Nigeria. So good day, Mr. President. <laughs> the leaders should come together to do the needful. Exactly. That is what they're supposed to do. You know, people are saying if they become the next president of Nigeria, they will do better. Article was once a vice president of this country. The, the uh, presidential candidate of APC, Bola Tinubu, is the national leader of APC, so he's still a leader in this country. All these happenings, why is it that these people, they cannot come together? The party, your own party who is ruling, the country is having problem. You know if you talk anything, you know if you suggest anything, and you are telling us that when he becomes the president, all these things will end. So how come? How manage? So what is the miracle? So if you, if you are not the president, you can't do anything. I always tell people this. Your personality is your personality. It can never be changed, no matter how, no matter whatever situation you find yourself. That your person will be pushing you to explode or whatever. We have a vice president who is a Christian. The person of Yemi Osibanjo. All this happening in this country, when I don't ever see him come out to say, I condemn him. And these are the people who want to be the next president of Nigeria, if not that he lost out in, in, in APC primaries and all that. Even in his own region, Fulani has Mendy Kiw. He will not say anything about it. And you are telling us that when you become the Nigerian president tomorrow, you will do better. No. I think we are tired of these people. What they did in Kuje was all game. They staged it. If you can recall that these bandits or Boko Haram or whatever they are calling themselves had been demanding their commanders 
as an exchange to those people they adopted in Abuja Kaduna train attack. The Nigerian government say no. Maybe they don't already agree. And they don't say, okay, if we just bring out these people like this, Nigerians go just, they shout, they shout. So they don't think I'm make we do one like this. As many that brought this sorrow to Nigerians, they will not know peace. So. That is the truth. And that is why Nigerians are saying, let's take this 2023 as a serious game. Make we take them, um, say, this one now our life. If we miss them, um, we go miss our life with that. If they think like that, you will, you will be focused. You will know that these people, they don't want our votes. We've been voting them for so many years now, since the inception of this democracy. What did they don't do for Nigeria? They've been causing us pains, agony, sorrows every now and then. This time is not going to be game as usual. It's not going to be business as usual. Everything don't change. That is the truth. Okay, someone said, yeah, and it is now that you are contesting for president that you are saying all of this. Yet, it will not work for you, Mr. Abubakar. That is it. Just like the attack that happened in a war in those in Ondo State. We never hear Jack Robinson, Bola Tinubu don't go see them donate 15 million. But these things, they happened for that region before now. You know they talk, you know they go visit them. But it don't come up from Lagos. Go Sokoto State, go donate money, give people. When bandits, you know, burn their market and all that. Because you have interest. In fact, I beg my people, let me not just talk go far because these people matter. It they make person the best. So guys, I'm sorry about that. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for always coming out here. Bye for now.